and hi guys good evening hello and good evening everyone hi hi and hello guys wow i am so excited hello and happy tuesday everyone how are you guys doing Yan, sino ba dyan yung mga excited na? Yan, sino yung mga nila look forward to ating um, live interview with Jenedy? Let me know in the comments. Ayan. So, guys, we will start in a few minutes, ha? Okay? So, mag-start na tayo in a few minutes. Maghintay lang tayo ng more viewers para naman medyo mas masaya yung kwentuhan natin. And while we are waiting, sige, attend attendance check lang tayo. Let me ask you, where are you guys watching from tonight? Ayan. Nasaan ba kayo ngayon? Who here um, are from Luzon or Visayas or from Mindanao? Yeah, na sino yung mga first time and sino din naman yung mga long time supporter ng Artillery Philippines. Yeah, let me know. Let us know, guys. Yeah, come on. And syempre, if you guys can hear us, let us know in the comment section. Naririnig niyo ba kami? Yeah. So, go. So, let's check and greet Hi guys. Shout out sa ating three viewers from YouTube. Check ilan na ba yung viewers natin from Facebook. Okay? Ayan. let's see. Ayan. So guys, if your friends are not here yet and alam din naman na gusto nilang mag-join yan, tag niyo na sila sa comment section natin na para we can start right away. And syempre, additional lang guys, if you want to download our free watercolor PDF guide, just go and click the link in our pinned comment. Okay? So click nyo lang yan para naman um, later, marireceive nyo na siya sa inyong um, email. Okay? So if 15 minutes na or 30 minutes na, hindi nyo pa siya nare-receive, make sure to check your um, spam or promotions folder. Wait, let's check. So guys, I am sorry. Wait lang. We're just having some um technical difficulties, but don't worry. Ayan. Mahaka start na tayo in a few minutes. So again, guys, um please download our watercolor PDF guides in our pinned comment. And syempre, meron din tayong raffle ha. Still, meron pa rin tayong giveaway. So, guys, please share this on your timeline. Yan, yung Facebook Live or yung YouTube Live natin. Share this on your timeline and then send us a message at m.me forward slash artillery Philippines para naman we can add you and you can join the raffle. Okay? Ayos ba yan, guys? So, sino ba dyan yung mga excited na? Ayan. So, one moment. Ayan, so, sige. so guys, it seems like we're not yet live sa Facebook. So while we are fixing, ayan, hintay-hintay lang tayo, okay? So our team is still checking and working on para naman lumabas na yung live natin sa Facebook. Ayan. Oh, oh wow. Sige. So our um our guest is here with us and waiting. <laughs> so sige, sino na ba yung mga nandiyan na? Teka, let's check and see ano na ba ang status ng Facebook Live natin. Ayan. So right now I'm just checking our YouTube Live. So let's see. Kamusta ba tayo sa si Facebook? So one moment. Ayan, o diba? Ang saya-saya.
wait lang guys ha that's part of life meron talaga minsan mga some technical difficulties but ang importante dyan we are all here tonight to have fun to learn the diba? body stress and eventually sana lahat tayo makapag start na rin sa ating watercolor journey so let's see And so and so while we are checking so I think Facebook live and so I guess I know let's start now let's start now with our live interview so going back, ito na nga. Um, ayan. So let me ask again, sino ba dito yung mga? Ayan. So let's see, sino ba dito yung mga first timer? Ayan, mag-ingay. Yung mga team YouTube natin, mag-ingay. Let us know in the comments. Ayan. So let's greet yung mga early bird viewers natin. Sino ba dyan? And again guys, ha, ulitin ko lang para sa mga newcomers. If this is your first time, guys, meron tayong giveaway at the end of this live interview where you will have a chance to win watercolor supplies and please don't forget to um download our free watercolor guide ayan exciting <laughs> ayan so parang wala pa akong nababasa mga comments what's going on like uh, let's check kung ano ito nakikita ka na we are now live ayan so let me greet Sige, basahin natin. Hi and good evening, Alisa Marie Malolot. We have Vib. We have Nika, Isabella. Ayan, we have Julie. Oh, Jenry and Johns are watching. Hi, guys. Ayan, Anika Arts, long-time supporter. Hi, guys, and welcome to our live interview. So now, again, ulitin ko yung tanong ko. Sino ba dito yung mga first-timer? Sino yung ngayon lang umatan ng Facebook Live ng Artillery Philippines? Sino naman dyan yung mga long-time supporter and all Always present. Mag-ingay. Ayan. Oh, sabi dito ni Isabella. Woot, woot. Ate Jenedy. Wow. Ayan. May supporter. Hi and good evening to Daryl Garcia. Oh, we have Shane. Hi, Shane. Good evening. Venice Vensi. Hello and good evening to you. We have Nika Sheen. Ayan. Stephanie. Sabi ni John v. Hello, supporting my classmate and also taking a break break from possible burnout. Ayan. So, thank you so much, John V, for joining. Si Viv, sabi niya, yay, love lots, Jenny. Venzi, go, 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 attorney Jenny Tomador. Wow, and daming supporter. Ayan. We have John Ren, one of our longtime supporter. Hi, and good evening to you, John Ren. Maria, Zenny, good evening. Stephanie Reyes, first timer. Ayan. Christina, hello po. We also have one of our students. Ayan, fellow classmate ni Jenny D. Sabi niya, here to support Jenny D. Wow. Ayan, Vincent. Sabi niya, go attorney. Wow, and daming supporter. <laughs> okay. So, sige guys. So, it's now 8.08. So, ulitin ko lang ha. Please click the link in our pinned comment. Paano naman? Uh, ma-download nyo yung ating free watercolor guide, okay? And then, don't forget to share this on your timeline and send us a message at m.me forward slash artillery field para later you can join the raffle, okay? So, we will compute the total amount of prize by multiplying total number of shares, cap at 75, and total number of viewers who will stay until the end. So, pro tip lang, syempre, pag mas maraming viewers na mag-stay, mas maraming share, syempre, mas mataas yung pwedeng mapanalunan. So, go na, e, ano na yan, e, take it back so let's invite and um spread the love sabi ni michi waving quickly hi michi ayan hazel hey hey first timer maria zenny ayan sabi niya hello attorney jenny wow so sige guys eto na let's start now with our uh, live interview. So, syempre, hindi pwede na yung guest lang natin, yung kikilala na natin tonight. So, dapat kayo din. That's why I have here a few questions for you. Okay? So, sana sumagot din para malaman din namin, ano na ba yung journey nyo? How are you guys doing na ba? So, for my first question, who here are beginner watercolor artists? Ayan. So, sino ba dito yung 
kaka-start pa lang with their watercolor journey. Or maybe, ayan, maybe you have tried na like years before, pero na-stop. And then, ngayon, you wanted to continue. Or, matagal mo nang pinaplano, pero up until now, hindi ka pa rin nakaka-start. So, please, let me know in the comments. Sabi ni Jackie, good evening, madam. Ayan, Nika, me, I am actually quite a beginner. Elma, hello and good evening. So again guys, for my question, sino ba dito yung mga beginner watercolor artist? Or kahit may experience, pero hanggang ngayon, nagsistruggle pa din. Hanggang ngayon, hindi pa rin confident with your watercolor painting works. Ayan, si Vib, nagtaas na ng kamay. Hi and good evening to you, Raz. Ayan, supportive classmate. Stephanie, learner here. Okay, that's good. So my second question is, why do you want to learn watercolor painting? So I want you to be specific. Because of course, we have a lot of mediums, diba? Pwede naman calligraphy, or pwede naman acrylic, pwede naman um, post, ano yung tawag nito? Um, gouache. So bakit watercolor yung napili nyo or yung gusto nyo na medium? So let me know in the comments, bakit ba? Ayan, sabi ni Maris, experience but struggling. Sabi ni Michi, hi Anne, hi Michi. Sabi niya, Sabi niya pa, let us be classmates, guys. Si Aliza, have tried po, pero struggling until now. Si Hazel, beginner. O, ba? So, guys, again, ano yung reason? Why do you want to learn watercolor painting? Oh, Vib. Ayan, sabi niya, want to learn for fun. Marvis, I want to improve my skills. Jackie, still practicing until now and still not confident. ba? And, guys, tonight, we will share with you the journey of Jenedy. And how she went from copying YouTube watercolor tutorials to painting her own masterpieces in just two months. Wow, ang bilis, di ba? So, pag-uusapan natin yan tonight para malaman natin ano ba yung secret sauce, ano ba yung um, naging formula ni Johnny D para magkaroon siya ng ganito kalaking improvement. So, I also want to shout out one of our dear mentor. Hi and good evening to you, Sir Ian. Ayan, thanks for joining. Alisa says, childhood dream to paint sana. Frustrated painter. Sabi ni Hazel, I want to awaken yung creative side ko. Natulog na kasi siya ng matagal. So, gano'n na ba ito katagal, Hazel? Ilang months or ilang years na ba? So, for tonight, eto yung agenda natin, okay? So, tandaan nyo, pag-uusapan natin why she decided to pursue watercolor painting. Ano ba yung reason niya? The difference between just copying from YouTube tutorials and, ex and the experience of being in a watercolor course. Yan, pag-usapan din natin, paano ba nakatulong yung watercolor painting sa kanyang mental health? And then lastly, ano ba yung advice niya to aspiring artists who want to try watercolor pero hindi pa sure if they have enough time and talent for it. Okay? So, now guys, this is Attorney Jenedy. So, she is a human rights lawyer. So, if you want to check her works, ayan, please follow her sa Instagram, Jenedy, that's J-N-N-D-Y underscore watercolor. And then sa Facebook naman, it's Jenedy Watercolor, J-N-N-D-Y watercolor. Ayan. So, guys, sige, follow niya na para makita niyo pa yung mga works ni Attorney Jenedy. So, now, let me ask you, are you guys ready? Ready na ba kayo? Ayan, sino ba dyan yung mga ready na? Ayan, please give me a ready in the chat. Ayan, so si Vib, sabi niya, Ika guapa. O diba? Vince, go attorney J. Sa, si Arian, ayan, Arian is here watching. Hi, Arian, good evening. Ayan, so again guys, let me know, sino ba yung mga ready na? Christina Alba says, yes. Ayan, who else? Ronald, ready. Noel, good evening. Nika is ready. Christina is ready. Hazel, si Shane, si Maurice, they are all ready. And syempre, hindi ko napapatagalan because I know you guys are all excited to meet her and syempre marinig yung kanyang um, journey. So now guys, let me call and let us welcome Attorney Jenedy. Hi! Hello! Hi po! Hi everyone. My friends, family, and classmates. Ayan. So, oh, nice to see you. Ayan. So pretty. Thank you po for, ano, for joining us tonight. And syempre, sa isha-share mo na journey and kwento mo sa watercolor painting. Okay? So, um, I will 
uh, ask you a few questions lang po. And then later, guys, if you have questions kay Attorney Janedy, so isan niya lang siya sa comment section, tapos pipili kami ng at least four to five questions na sasagutin niya. Okay? So, ayan na. So, let's go. For my first question, um, syempre, ano muna, pag-usapan po muna natin, how did your watercolor journey start? Yan, gano'n ka na po ba katagal na nagwa-watercolor? Uh, so, I started last June 1, Nung birthday ko, I bought uh, my first watercolor kit. So, before, bago pa ako bumili, usually kasi lumalabas siya sa Reels, sa Facebook, sa IG, yung mga art content. Marami, um, gouache, um, acrylic. But I saw one video saying na si watercolor daw yung medium na madaling linisin. So, it's that um, easiest medium to clean and meron din the more interesting videos on watercolor yung um, dapat na pinoprotect yung white, I, find, I found it very challenging and also yung mga output ng watercolor looks very delicate so um, I chose watercolor and as a gift to myself nung birthday ko, I bought a um, watercolor kit para dun ako nag start Oh, nice. And June 1, as in June this year? Yes, this year. Um, prior yeah, so to that, months uh, background mm -hmm. ko lang sa art was in elementary when I joined a poster making contest. So I used pastel naman um, for that. But hindi siya mm -hmm. sa mm -hmm. akin kasi madumi sa medium. So I like watercolor more now. Mm -mm. And these are your paintings nung June, di ba Pop? So can you, can you tell us about this? Kasi dito, okay na yung mga colors, di ba? Nakakapag-paint na. So paano niyo po ito nagawa? Um, for both of these photos, nag-follow lang ako ng tut tutorial sa YouTube. So, hmm. um, okay naman siya. I think parang nakokopy ako naman siya, but hindi ako satisfied dun sa sa output ko because hindi talaga siya yung same doon sa pinapanood kong video. Hindi ko ma-gets bakit hindi siya same. So, at that time, hindi ko, ah, baka kasi iba yung gamit niyang watercolor or iba, mm -hmm. baka mali yung paper. Pero, mm -hmm. now na nasa course na ako, I realized, mali din talaga yung mga ginagawa ko. Ah, mm -hmm. Ang dami or the like na, marami kasi akong hindi na iintindihan while painting this following a YouTube tutorial. Mm -hmm. So, parang okay. maganda siya tingnan siguro sa photo or siguro kung quick look lang pero if titingnan mo talaga siya uh, closely parang may, marami akong nakikita ay ayaw ko to. So, hindi ako mm -hmm. sa, sa mm -hmm. output nung time na yun. Mm -mm. Okay, sige ba? So, thank you for sharing. So, mamaya, pag-usapin po muna natin yan. Yung, yung naging journey mo bilang um, self-taught uh, self watercolor painter to um, ano na yung meron ngayon. Okay, but um, I also want to ask kasi uh, I know that your job is quite stressful and you deal with heavy stuff like uh, mga sexual or child abuse. So, how was this affecting to you, like personally? Um, okay, so personally, um, lawyering actually, parang marirealize mo when you become a lawyer na, it, na I realize it's not for me pala. Um, in itself, it is very stressful kasi problema ka ng problema ng ibang tao. Eh. Dumadagdag pa siya sa problema mo. So, mm -hmm. um, you would think na nakaka-cope na ako since I've been a lawyer for uh, seven years. But, um, hindi eh. Especially now that I am with the government, um, we are dealing with the most vulnerable sector of our society. Yung mga um, walang wala na ha, tapos sila pa yung nabibiktima. So, mas nakaka-apekto siya ngayon sa mental health ko. Especially, um, I am very, parang empath kasi I feel um, what the victim feels. So, nakaka- affect siya sa, even after nag-log out na ako sa work, meron pa din mm -hmm. yung 
stress or yung fear na possible din to mangyari sa akin or sa family ko. So, yun. Mm-hmm. But we don't need um, getting a, or with hobbies na tatry naman siya na malese. Mm-hmm. Okay. And ano, guys, I know we all deal with stress at work. Diba? And sometimes we just keep pushing ourselves. Diba? Pag niisip mo, oh my gosh, sobrang stressful. Pero hindi, kaya ko pa to. But sometimes hindi na pala natin aware, hindi na pala tayo aware, or hindi na natin namamalaya na parang nasasobrahan na tayo. So for you, um, Attorney Jenny what made you say na, ay hindi, kailangan ko na na talaga ng outlet. Kailangan ko na humanap ng um, ways to relax and distress. Um... And noon pa, noon pa, nung when I started practicing, na-realize ko talaga na I can't um, live na ito lang, yung work ko lang, ang um, ginagawa ko sa buhay ko. So, other than my family, I have work. So, kahit na before, madami na akong hobbies na tinitake up, like mountaineering, running, um, gardening even, kahit wala talaga akong talent sa pagtatanin. So, <laughs> But um yun um you know y- alam mo naman sa self mo na um pag work lang talaga yung ginagawa mo parang hindi hindi siya healthy. So yun yung nakita kong um outlet yung pagka-hobby or pagti up ng hobby. So yun. Especially um in our line of work talaga. Parang halos din naman lahat na lawyers na kilala ko. They take up hobby. Yes, yes. And it's really important. So, ang, ang sunod ko pong tanong, if ever, like, parang let's imagine, if ever na um, inisan tabi mo to, itong mga stressful moments na to, tapos you keep on thinking, ay kaya ko pa. Tapos hindi ka humanap ng outlet. What do you think would have happened? Ano na, kamusta na kaya ngayon si Attorney Genevieve? Um, of course, um, I magsa suffer talaga mentally, emotionally, and also the relationship with your um, family, work friends, ganun. So, of course, that is a very dark path to take. And um, parang nadaanan to na din yan. So, of course, kailangan talaga natin i-protect yung mental health natin. No? Not just in our in our line of work, sa lahat naman, sa lahat naman na profession, kailangan talaga yun. Because we are not just living to earn money. We are living mm-hmm. para maging happy din tayo. So we have to do the things that make us happy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And earlier, you mentioned na, oh, dada, marami na talaga akong hobby. Yun nga, yung gardening. Kahit na, yes. hindi, sabi mo, hindi talaga green thumb. And, yung mga hobbies that you have tried before, eventually, you ended up quitting after a few weeks. So, why do you think yeah. nag-stick sa'yo yung watercolor? Kasi ilang months na eh, pero eto pa din. Um, you still keep yeah. on painting. <laughs> Kahit yung boyfriend ko na siya shock na hindi ah. pa ako nag-give up. <laughs> um, well, before, kasi like, for example, I tried yung hydroponics, mm. that's gardening. Bumili na ako ng lahat ng kailangan ko pero wala pala akong patience na maghintay na tumubo yung seedlings, ganun. So, more on, siguro sa watercolor kasi, um, immediate yung result na nakikita mo. Mm. Um, kung nag-effort kang gawin to, maganda ang output, um, automatic yung gratification mo sa self mo. Also, um, meron kang nagagawa to improve your work. Unlike in gardening, ewan ko, ginagawa ko naman yung best ko, hindi pa rin sila tumutubo. So, <laughs> frustration lang yung nakukuha ko sa ganun. So, mm. here in sa watercolor, pag ina-effortan ko yung gawa ko, maganda naman siya. So, um, mas na-encourage ako na ipagpatuloy tong hobby mo ko. Ganun. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I also tried yung sewing, pero yun oh. dun, marami kasi ginagawa prior to pagtatahi itself. So, yes. masyado siyang trabaho. So, parang ang daming time na kinukuha sa akin. In watercolor, makaku- mag- gusto mo lang magpaint, ilabas mo lang yung watercolor mo, yung water and everything. Pwede ka nang mag-start agad. Wala nang prep-prep na 
or ganun. So, very immediate, uh, madali lang siyang gawin, and hindi nag-take time to prepare. Mm-hmm. So, it's well, very good. Hobby talaga for, um, especially for us na may 9 to 5. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. And ano, ibig sabihin parang, what your color is for you talaga. Kasi number one, you can control. Number two, pasok na pasok sa time. Hindi siya nakakakuha ng too much of your time. So walang worry, walang pressure masyado, no? Okay. So, yeah. So guys, itong nakikita niyo sa screen, ha? Mga paintings pa to ni Atpore ni Janady before the course. Ayan. So ngayon, sa next slide, papakita ko na sa inyo, ano na, ano na ba yung mga napipaint niya since she joined our watercolor painting course. Ayan. So here, ito yung first homework na naisubmit niya sa amin. Ayan. So, for this, um, kanina nag-uusap tayo at sabi mo, oh, June ka nag-start, like June 1, birthday mo. Um, what made you decide to commit to watercolor painting through our online course ka agad? Kasi syempre, one month pa lang, tapos July ka nag-join. So, bakit ang bilis mo agad nag-commit? Oh, um, because from the time na bumili ako ng watercolor kit, nag-practice na talaga ako almost every day. And hmm. sometimes, okay. na frustrate ako kasi parang hindi nag improve yung gawa ko, hindi ko ma-understand na marami na akong pinanood na video pero hindi ko pa din alam kung paano gawin tong mga ganitong texture, ganun. So, um, also, to help me, no, na um, to commit to such hobby, tinry ko talaga na maghanap din ng course na ma-enrollan. Um, I even tried um, inquiring sa mga IG na mga watercolorists. Meron kasi silang mga lessons. So, mm-hmm. um, before pa talaga, uh, I think a week or two weeks after, nag-decide na ako sa cellphone na ay kailangan ko talagang mag-enroll ng course because I want a structured learning. I want mm-hmm. a course. Sila boss, gusto kong makita ano ba talaga dapat yung una kong alam, basics, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Because that is how I learn as a person. So, gusto ko yung klaro, planchado yung kailangan kong gawin, and I can take um one lesson at a time. Hindi yung sa YouTube kasi na learning, yung self-learning. Every day, maghahanap ka ng YouTube tutorial na gagawin mo, but hindi siya progressive. Like, Sometimes sobrang hirap pala, kaya hindi ko siya magawa ng ayos. So, ma-frustrate lang ako. So, dapat, um, I want to put with watercolor since it very, yun nga, very convenient din siya sa akin na hobby. So, yun, ay, naghanap talaga ako ng parang gradual, mag-start ako sa basic, hanggang sa um, malam, ma-learn ko yung, dapat kong ma-learn at basic. Stage para hindi ako na pro frustrate mm-hmm. at ma uh, ma biglang makat yung interest ko sa hobby na ito. Cause mm-hmm. marami na kung watercolor na nabili. Ang hindi malaki laki na yung investment ko sa watercolor. <laughs> Kahit na June ako nagsimula, parang andam ko na check out agad ng mga watercolor. So parang hindi din siya option na ilet go agad kasi mm-hmm. matutulog yung boyfriend ko at <laughs> Okay. Hmm. So medyo na curious ako kasi nasabi mo, oh, nag- matagal na ako naghahanap, nag-inquire pa ako kahit sa Instagram. So what made you say yes kay Artillery Philippines? Ano ba yung naging ano, point? Actually, nakita ko lang si Artillery Philippines sa Facebook may parang advertisement on parang Watercolor 101. So, pero hindi ako naka-attend because of other stuff. So, may na-click lang akong link and na um parang ang daming questions and na, na-gets ko naman yun na parang they are screening the, mm-hmm. the, the learners that they are accepting. So, na doon pa lang, na-feel ko na na ay parang serious to na core. Parang they take this matter seriously. Ganon. And they know what the yung line of questioning kasi doon sa parang application um, form, parang makikita mo na talaga na they would want you to 
um, give your time and effort to the course. Makikita mo naman yan if you read their their form pag nag-a-apply ka pa lang. So, mm-hmm. doon pa lang, um, nag-sell, na, 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 benta na, bentang-benta na talaga si Artillery sa akin. Because I would need that kind of, of ano, course para ma-motivate din ako na mag-continue and to improve mm-hmm. my life. And so far, hindi naman ako nagsisisi. It, oh. it, parang enlightening lahat ng lesson, helpful lahat ng ng videos and uh, mga classes na natin nito. Yeah. Ayan. Salamat. Ang sabi dito ni Sir Ian, watercolor stash reveal daw. <laughs> Ayan. But, ano, Wala wala po, bang... my family uh, is watching each other. <laughs> Ma- madi-discover pa nila. Oh, hindi ka, hindi lang pala tong tatlong to. Mas marami pa pala. But, yeah, again, wala bang naging hesitations sa'yo? Kasi syempre, ang dami na eh. May mayroon nag um, suwing, tapos may hydroponics pa. Hindi ba siya naging parang, hindi ko ba nag-worry na, ay, ka baka after one week or two weeks, hindi ko rin naman to matuloy. So, sayang lang. Wala bang ganon na feeling? Wala naman. Um, I think the hesitation monetary chat monetary ka kasi of course it, it um your syempre may fee but uh, yung yung boyfriend ko kasi is very stupid sabi niya ayun mm. mo naman niya bakit ka naman na yung gawa mo ganun no chat <laughs> kailangan ko to so mm. um i think monetary but i've been saving up for something else kasi shout out to Taylor Swift chat so, <laughs> I've been saving up for something else. So I have I have the fun to enjoy. So yun, I just parang go na kasi kailangan ko to and I know that it will help me in this endeavor na mm-hmm. kung that you know if gusto ko talaga ipagpatuloy tong hobby na to um to improve myself, I would need this course. So, decided na talaga ako. From the time na gumap, nag-answer ako ng application form. So, parang Monday or Tuesday yun. Tapos yung interview was Saturday. From that time, decided na talaga ako. Oh. Enroll. Wow. Impressive. And again, shout out to Taylor Swift. Salamat. <laughs> Yeah, but moving on. Ayan. So guys, yung nakikita nyo, basics pa lang to. Parang first homework. So eto naman, yung mga sumunod na homework na ni Trini Jet na di. Pakita natin, ano ba yung sumunod? Ay, no, next skip. Ayan. Ano ba yung sumunod? So here you can see um, floral painting with still mga swatches. So yung next na gusto kong malaman, um, kamusta yung experience? Kanina nabanggit mo na, ay hindi, akala ko din dati maganda sa unang tingin. So can you give us more, ano, parang insights, share more of your experience sa difference pag nanonood ka sa YouTube tutorials and now na um, you are enrolled in a watercolor painting course? Yes, ito, um, na-appreciate ko talaga itong um, activity na to, no? Because, sabi ko nga, I bought a lot of watercolor sets. But dito ko nalaman na pwede naman pala yung primary colors lang. And I realized in this um in this exercise na maganda kasi nag-start talaga sa basic. Ano yung primary colors? Anong imimix mo? Ano yung tonal values? So, and then after giving those input i-apply mo siya through the painting of the flower. So, sobrang very, um, parang na-appreciate ko siya because um, kung ano yung natutunan ko, na-apply ko kagad sa painting na to. Unlike when you are watching YouTube tutorials, parang nagmamadali ka na lang na kopyahin yung ginagawa nung nasa video. Hindi mo na iniisip na, bakit ko ba ito ginagawa? Bakit minimix ko itong dalawang kulay na to? Or, bakit um, maglalagay lang ako ng water sa brush ko tapos nawawala na yung kulay, ganun. So, um, here, nag-start talaga sa explanation, ano yung mga kailangan mong malaman, and then, naka-apply siya sa exercise. So, very different from when I was learning um, through the watching YouTube tutorials. Kasi, again, very structured and Again, ang galing din ni Sir Ian magturo. I mean, 
hindi ako marunong mag-drawing ng ganyan, but he made it very easy for us to follow. So kahit yung hindi magaling mag-drawing, nakakapag-drawing na. So yun. Yes, nice. And shout out to you, Sir Ian. <laughs> yeah, nasa audience natin si Sir Ian. So, di ba, kanina, bumalik tayo dun sa before, bumili na ako ng maraming, ano, bumili na ako ng maraming watercolor set to now realizing na, ay, hindi pala kailangan ng maraming watercolor set. Ilang colors lang pala, tapos marami na yung ma-achieve. So, I'm so happy for attorney Genedy. Um, oh, and other than that po, parang may lesson din kasi na para dapat pala hindi ginagamit lahat ng kulay. Mm. Ipas magpangit tingnan siya sa isang painting. The lesser color you use, mas maganda yung um, labas ng painting. So yun, parang maganda. Ay, iyan yung nalil ko sa lesson na to. Wow. Ayan. So basahin ko lang yung sinabi dito ni um, Christina Alba. Mukhang mabilis gawin pero hirap pala kapag ikaw na yung gumagawa. Ang daming reject. Sobrang hirap gamitin ng watercolors. So I guess Christina, ano, kulang ka lang ng ano, maybe support and guidance. So later, I want you to stay until the end para i-reveal natin paano mo ba ma-achieve yung ganito din klase mga watercolor paintings. Okay? So ayan. So, so Next question. Ayan. So, more paintings. Ito. I am so happy and impressed dito kasi, uy, puro gumamela. And recently, you posted this gumamela painting transformation sa group natin. So, can you tell us about that? Ano ba yung um, reason? Bakit puro gumamela? Yes. Um, I think sa flowers talaga, yung gumamela yung gusto kong i-paint. Um, um, I grew up in, parang, Growing up, meron kasing gumamela doon malapit sa bahay. And um, gusto, ta- gusto ko talaga siya na flower. And it's um, tropical. Kaya din ako naghanap talaga ng course na dito sa Philippines. Kasi yung sa mga IG, ang um, mga courses, yung abroad na siya. So usually, ang pinipainti lang mga flowers, um, yung mga foreign din na flowers. So, Thankful ako na here sa course, um, nagpo-focus din sa mga flowers na nandito na sa Philippines. So, na, na, karon ako ng opportunity to improve um, painting this gumamela. Yung first na drawing ko, yung nung before pa lang ako nag-join ng um, course, parang flat lang siya and yun nga, parang ang ang pangit niya. <laughs> um, to be ano, honest, hindi siya maganda. So, yun, um, nung na-learn ko na yung sa texture, how to lift paint, how to ano, make it better through the course, mas natatry ko na yung iba't-ibang technique. It, ina-apply ko siya sa pag-paint nung gumamela. And later on, makikita ko talaga na nag-improve din naman talaga yung feeling ko lang. <laughs> Tama ba? Nag-improve ba? Nag-improve yeah. yung mukha nung gumamela. So, yun. Um, yeah. I was very really happy. Nakikita, I usually paint um, those, uh, parang nire-retaint ko kasi yung mga painting ko nung sa start. And then, pinipaint ko sa now after two months, I think, in the course. And nakikita ko talaga yung difference. So, pinaka-start yung improvement dito sa gumamela ko. Makikita mo sa first na gumamela, it's very flat. Wala halos shading, isa lang yung tonal um, value niya. Tapos, later on, dun sa isa, um, may parang may texture na siya. Yan. So, yun. Dun ko na-realize na, ay, may... May improvement naman talaga. So, sulit lang. Ganun. Wow. And guys, ha, hindi pa to yung final. May final pa to. Seeing the improvement then encourages you to paint more. So, hindi pa ako nagle-let go sa watercolor kasi may improvement pa. That's nice. And I'm so happy so, guys, again, ito yung first niya. So, actually, this is not a homework. Um, painting mo to prior to joining the course, correct? So, before yes. the course. And then, ito yung um, first try when you join. And then, second. And then, third. And, guys, ito na. Ito na yung before and after. So, now, let's, ano, 
compare. Wow. So this, um, you made this June, and then eto naman, you made this na August. So two months, and an laki na nung difference niya. Diba? Yung, yung shading, it's it's more realistic now. So, ano yung pinakamalaki? Which part of the course do you think help you the most para ma-achieve yung gantong difference in just a span of two months? Um, I think naman lahat ng lessons nag, um, nag-help siya na ma-achieve yung ganyang lahat ng yung output na yan. But what really helped me was the lesson on textures and techniques, watercolor techniques and textures. Kasi before, makakakita ka ng photo, parang ang ganda ng background na, ang ganda ng texture na, niya. And I would think, paano ba ito ginagawa? In that lesson, yung sa lesson ng texture and technique, dun ko nalaman na you can use salt, you can use yung cling wrap, and then magaganda yung texture na. And parang now when I see a uh, photo na gusto kong copy yun, parang naisipin, ah, ganito yun, ito yung ginamit niya. Mm. Parang, parang confident na ako na, I, I can do this too. <laughs> With the knowledge that I have now, I can do this too. So yun. Um... The le- that lesson gave me confidence. Yun yung first na at uh, pagkatapos ko ng lesson na yun, I then tried um painting um from yung reference photo na lang, yung hindi na ako nanonood ng YouTube um tutorial. So from a reference photo, I copy it um just by myself. So yun parang naging um proud din ako sa self ko. Akay ah, ako na pala with with only those, ah, hindi ko pa natatapos yung course. So, yun, very helpful talaga yung lesson na yun sa akin. Wow. Diba? Impressive. And again, hindi pa natatapos yung course. I think, mga ilang lessons pa lang to. And in two months, again, two months ka pa lang na nasa course. So, I want to read some of the comments here. Sabi ni Cass, wow, kitang-kita yung progress. Ang galing. Sabi ni Christina, ang galing naman. Ang hirap makuha niyang real color pag bulaklak na. Ayan. So, si Janelle, na shock. Si Raz, way to go, classmate! And Maricar and Jem sending shock and love emojis. <laughs> so, congratulations talaga dito. Like, super um, big improvements. Okay, so this is also a very good ano, painting. So, can you tell us the, about this painting? I know, nirigalo mo to to your friend. Yes, um, this is a recent painting. I think August ko na din to pinin. So, mm-hmm. uh, um, although parang nag-focus ako sa gumamela and I think the bougainvillea, but I have a friend kasi na nalaman ko na magkakabahay na sila. So, may nag-paint ako ng housewarming gift. And I painted um, orchid kasi ito yung flower nila sa kasal nila. So, I wanted something na mabibigay ko na mahahang nila sa bahay nila to remind them of their wedding, ganun. And para ma-proud sila, ay, ang galing ng friend ko. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this one, I was very happy with this kasi I painted this um, using a reference photo lang din. But, um, ang goal ko kasi dito is white na orchid pero parang nagmukha siyang brown. So, I have mm. to improve pa on painting white. But, um, happy ako dito kasi hindi ko pa sinabi sa friend ko na actually gift ko to sa kanya. Mm-hmm. Pinain ko to and I posted this on social media. So, nung pinost ko to, sinare agad nung friend ko. Hi, Steve. Oh. Sinare niya. Tapos nung nagkita kami, kasi workmates din kami. Uh-huh. So, nagkita kami the next day. Sabi niya, ang ganda nung painting mo. Sinare ko talaga kasi na-proud ako sa'yo. Sabi oh. niya sa So, parang, tapos doon ko na siya, ay, para yun sa'yo. <laughs> um, Housewarming gift ko dapat yun sa'yo. Kaya lang, um, kasi nga, nagmukha siyang brown. Parang, mm. sabi ko, ay, ulitin ko muna kasi hindi siya yung white na orchid mm-hmm. na kung mahang sa bahay. Mm-hmm. So, yun. But sabi niya, kahit yun na, okay na ako doon. Oh. <laughs> kahit kaya, <laughs> yun, 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 y
So, ito yung parang rating sa social media ko. Ito yung pinaka well-received na photo. Kasi, ewan ko, kasi siguro, <laughs> siguro magaling na ako. So, siguro, um, <laughs> um, yun nga, um, I, this took a while. Matagal ko siyang, parang two nights ko siyang pinin. Hindi ko siya minadali. And, yun nga, I'm very proud of this painting. Mm-hmm. Parang, uh, parang sulit na lahat. Lahat na one. Mm-hmm. Or, 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 ganun. Sulit na lahat. Gawa, kasi nakala kong gawin to. And, I did not watch a YouTube tutorial. Um, I did mm-hmm. it on my own. Just what, um, from a reference photo. So, thank you, APH and Sir Ian. <laughs> so, mga Ayan. Yun. Salamat din. So, Yeah, I I also want to ask eh. Kumusta yung feeling kasi 'di ba 2 to 3 months ago, yun nga nanonood ka pa ng YouTube tutorial, just following without even understanding but pag ganun yung process, hindi ka pa marunong na mag-paint on your own. But in just a few months, kaya mo na with just a reference photo, tapos you feel confident na na irigalo sa friend mo. And yung good pa doon, yung nagustuhan niya. <laughs> nagustuhan niya and she she's so proud of you. So how do you feel? Siyempre, happy and proud. Um, I think, um, with, hindi naman kasi siya na, you know, I, it was with a lot of effort and a lot mm-hmm. of time. So, I think naman, kung you really just put your um, time and effort into something, kaya mo gawin kahit ano. I, I'm mm-hmm. a big believer of that. Sa buhay ko talaga. <laughs> So, yun, um, I think nung nag-decide ako na I want to pursue this hobby, so every almost every night, kung hindi lang ako busy or wala kaming lakad, nagpipaint talaga ako even if it's just for five minutes or mm. sometimes kung ganito, big project or big project. Ano, um, for two nights ko to siya ginawa. So, um, yun, um, happy ako because I, I believe in myself from the very beginning na ay kaya ko to tapos i got support from my family and my friends kaya pinursu ko siya and after two months parang parang na confirm oh di ba kaya ko talaga so parang fulfilling din talaga siya for me and other than it it helps me mentally it helps me relax um nagkakaroon ka din ng self confidence in doing more sa buhay mo ay kaya ko din naman pala kaya kung uh, mag-pursue ng other things, even at this age, mm-hmm. and even with the um, profession that you have. So, kung magbibigay ka lang talaga ng time and effort, kaya mo. And so, yun po. I totally agree. I, I super love that na kahit mahirap, kahit na hindi mo alam before, as long as you believe in yourself, as long as you put your heart and mind into it, kaya naman, ano, basta gagawin. Yeah. So, it's, it's very good. Although, hindi ko na-apply sa, ano, hydroponics. Okay, <laughs> I guess kasi living things, kasi buho ko may buhay, maybe, maybe. Yeah. My external factor, charot. <laughs> yeah, and maybe baka yung yung weather, di ba? Marami yeah. talagang external factor, yung weather, yung, maybe yung Basta, there's, there's so many factors with plants. Kasi yun nga, ano siya, living things. But yeah, moving on. Ayan. So ito pa, wow! Sobrang daming mga landscape painting. Um, I know earlier, di ba, nung nag-uusap tayo, you mentioned na grabe din yung tinde nung job na to the point na kahit naka-clock out na ako, naiisip ko pa, sometimes I, I worry about myself, my family, paano kung kami rin mangyari yun. Um, Kamusta na ngayon yung mental well-being mo after incorporating watercolor in your life? Okay. Um better of um better naman siya. Um kasi from the time na nag-out ako sa work, I look forward na mm. sa ipipilit ko for tonight kasi gabi ako nagte-train. So mm-hmm. I look forward to painting the the piece na nakita ko na gusto kong i-paint for that night. And then, kasi kung nagpa-paint ka, I don't know, sa other na mga nagpa-practice ng watercolor, parang nakafocus ka lang doon, parang clear lang yung utak mo na para matapos mo yung piece na gusto mo. So, na- nakakalimutan mo na yung mga ibang iniisip mo. So, 
that really helps. Parang nakakat yung yung iniisip mo sa work mo, nakakat siya by by painting and then iba na yung attitude mo sa whole night. So better ang sleep siguro ganun. Mm. Um I think mako-compare ko siya kasi I did running before. Like marathon ganun. Ganun din siya yung feeling mo but less exercise. Mm. So parang kasi pag in running yung yung isip mo naka-focus lang na okay tatakbo ko ng ganitong kilometers clear yung mind mo same siya in painting and the euphoria you get after exercise hindi siya ng happiness mo pag natapos mo na yung painting mo so yun so kung kaya mo mag-exercise and you want that kind of clear mind then i think painting is a good hobby then pa Ayan. So, guys, if ever you feel stressed or anxious or worried, ayan. So, we highly suggest, ayan. Kahit si Tony Johnny D, sinasuggest na you go and try watercolor painting. Kasi parang yung daily worries mo washed away and then you'll have a peaceful and good night's sleep, di ba? Okay, so guys, if you have questions for Attorney Janedi, eto na. Um, please send your questions in our comment section at isa-isa natin yung sasagutan. So again, we will accept at least four to five questions. Yeah, so go and comment your ano na, questions. So while we're waiting, can, can you tell us about these paintings? Kasi ano eh, ang, ang ganda niya, you know, especially this one and ito, isang color lang, pero you can still see yung mismong painting. So, can you tell us about this? Yes, this is the monochromatic na homework. Um, mm-hmm. This is uh, the Mount Apo. Kasi ang homework dito is you paint the landmark kung saan ka nakatira. So, this is the Mount Apo from the viewpoint sa parang newly opened na coastal road dito sa Davao. Medyo nag-trending tong photo na to, kaya ito yung ginamit kong reference photo. Um, um, medyo nahirapan ako dito sa monochromatic kasi I have a problem with kung may too much water ba ako, gano'n ka, light or dark yung ano. But it really helped um, kasi ilang beses ko tong pinaint eh, to practice. So it helped me yung as to the control sa water. Ito namang violet na parang may boat. This is an exercise dun sa texture and techniques. Um, very proud ako nito. Pinakita ko sa friends ko. Ang ganda nito. Ano? Pinalo ko lang si um, Sir Ian sa pag-paint niyan. And parang, ay kaya ko na din pala yun. So, I'm happy with how that look. And itong sa baba, um same monochromatic painting and then itong my color na 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 three colors ang ginamit dito sa baba same reference photo doon sa Mount Apo um here we use three colors so yun um i know i have a lot to improve pa but so far i am um, um okay naman ako sa work na ito and it the, the lessons really helped me yung sa tonal values. Kasi yun yung nagbibigay ng parang um, dimension or ano bang tawag yung technical na ano sa sa painting. And dito din ako nagkaka-difficulty noon. Like, bakit ang flat tingnan ng mga ginagawa ko? So, ito pala yun. Kailangan pala iba-iba yung tonal values. Kailangan pala may highlights, may mga dark na areas para mag- maging lively yung painting. So, it is something I still struggle at until now. But, of course, kailangan lang again mag-practice ng mag-practice. That is why also, um, I take the, the the course slowly. I stop after, I think, the lesson on texture kasi I want to practice more pa muna before I move on. That is one of the um good thing about the course it's very flexible you can just stop uh, kung saan mo gusto so that you can practice more on the lessons that you already made 
Mm-hmm. So it, it's something that you can control. And gusto ko lang din ano, parang gusto ko itong batiin ng good job kasi di ba kanina from hoarding, iba't ibang shades, but now you can paint with just three colors. Yeah. Ang ganda na ng achieve. Oh, so, alam ko lang. Ang ganda ng Sana malaki yung nagastos ka chara. So yun. <laughs> Very yeah. helpful sa finances din yung APA. <laughs> Yeah. Sige. So, so, yeah. so here we have question from Marie. So, sige. Um, she's asking, ano daw ba yung mga ma-recommend mo na watercolor, especially siguro for beginners. Ayan, ano ba yung ginagamit mo recently dito sa course? Yeah. Um, ginagamit ko sa course yung Mia Hini. Um, I think um, magkano ba yun? Parang hindi naman sa sobrang um expensive but it is a very good watercolor na I, I i don't know sa iba because i only use kuratake and yung art philosophy i also have yung koi um but normally pag nagpa-practice ako i use the miyahimi and the art philosophy ang problema lang kasi dun sa art philosophy parang ang dami niyang palettes mm. so Parang ang dami kong like oceans na palette, meron pa yung classics na palette. Eh, parang ang dami niya and it's not cheap. So better better yung Mia Hime. Kasi maganda naman na yung parang bright na yung colors niya, madali siyang i-blend. Tapos hindi siya masyadong mahal. So hindi ka ma- parang ay ayoko muna tong gamitin kasi mahal to. Walang ganung feeling. So maganda yung Mia Hime, which is part of the kit na binibigay ng course. But of course, iba naman kasi yung happiness ng pagbohorn. So, ibang kaupin yun. <laughs> so, pero para sa akin, sa so far, sa mga nagamit ko, yung, yung Mia Hini yung pinakaginagamit ko. So, thank you so much again. Perfect to for beginners kasi good to for practice. And maganda na siya. Um, if you are interested, yung link is in our comment section na yan. Um, na po siya ni Miss Trisha. Ayan. So, just check, guys. Um, eto, Stephanie Reyes. Question from Stephanie. Do you experience art blocks? Ayan. If so, how do you handle it? Um, so far, I don't know. I don't know what, what you mean by art block kasi bago pa lang akong artist. Mm. So. Um, but when I don't feel like painting, I just don't paint. Mm. Ganun, ganun lang. Parang, Parang hindi ko din pinoforce talaga yung sarili ko na, ay, dapat mag-paint talaga ako to practice. May mga time nga din kasi na parang exhausted ka na sa daily life mo. So, parang ayaw mo na din mo nang mag-work or ayaw mo din mo nang mag-paint. So, hindi lang din ako nag-paint. Para, parang it is something kasi na I do to enjoy. Ayaw kong i-marelate siya to a stressful activity. So, mm-hmm. ayaw kong pinipilit yung sarili ko na gawin siya. So, I only paint when I feel like painting. But, mm-hmm. normally naman, since nga, I decided to to do this, parang normally, almost every night, gusto ko naman mag-paint. So, yun po. Ay, That's siguro wala pa akong yung art block talaga na parang wala akong ma-paint, ayaw kong ma-paint. Kasi, parang siguro, I nasa stage pa ako of parang learning and fascinated, fascinated with everything. So, mm-hmm. I want to always do that. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. So, thank you for sharing. Attorney Janady. So, ayan. Si Sir Ian nag-send na lang ng ano, happy and laughing emojis. Si Ms. Trisha sabi niya, iba yung happiness ng pag-hoard. Nakaka-relate daw siya. I know, right? Alam ko, for sure, ang dami rin makaka-relate dyan. Um, another a uh, question ito about materials sabi ni Janelle um do brushes matter to create a good watercolor painting i'm not, i'm i would say na hindi ako expert on that mm-hmm. but i um so far naman i think it it matters kas naka kasi ako ng brush na habang nagpe-paint ako nahuhulog yung mga bristles mm-hmm. so parang Ayan na ba ito? Parang pumapangit tuloy kasi nag, nag, nagsusobra yung paint sa sa drawing. 
I think mm-hmm. nagmamatter. At least dapat quality naman yung brush mo. Hindi siya I don't oh, I don't have yung parang mahal talaga na brush and the usual brush that I use yung sa kit din yung I think Mia Hini ba yun? Yes, yeah. So yun lang din ang gamit ko usually. But before kasi yung time na hindi ko pa alam yung mga materials. Madami din akong brush na binili sa mall and yun nga ang <laughs> Ang iba, yun yung mga natatanggal agad. Tapos yung iba, ang lalaki pa. I think kung hindi naman dapat pala bumili ng malalaking brushes, kung hindi ka magpipaint ng malaki, gano'n. So I think with, I, before tayo bumili ng materials, maybe research muna. Huwag niyo gawin yung ginawa ko. Kasi <laughs> nakaka-ano, nakaka-poverty, below poverty line. So yeah. <laughs> Yes. And again, i-highlight ko lang yung part na ano, na hindi naman kailangan like super expensive. Basta yung at least good quality naman. And right now, uh, Attorney Johnny D is using Miyahimi brushes. Yes. So, and you have to do your research. Siyempre, i-check nyo rin muna yung kung okay ba yung brushes or art materials na plan yung bilhin. Okay? So, guys, meron pa ba? So, we can still ano, answer two more questions. Ayan, pwede pa naman. So, ito pala, Christina Alba, gumagamit ka ba ng drawing pencil before you put watercolor on it? Um, I use, me- parang mechanical pencil lang siya. Mm-hmm. But, um, I bought yung mga pang sketch na pencils because parang umabot na ako dun sa Pero nag-skip kasi ako, nag-start ako ng lesson on portrait. So, pero hindi ko pinatuloy because I got frustrated. But, um, bumili ako ng pang-sketch na pencil to practice. But when I paint, I use only yung parang manipis na mechanical pencil. Kasi pag yung makapal, hindi na siya nakakover ng watercolor. Mm-hmm. Saka na like, smudge so mm-hmm. I'm not really knowledgeable as to kung ano ba talaga yung dapat na pencil but that that's what I use yung parang mechanical na pencil lang na 0.5 I think mm. okay thank you so much and this is something that I learned na you have to sketch light then ba and yung mga techniques na to guys lahat naman to din discuss so watercolor painting or so that also answers Michelle's question because she's asking if you um sketch before you paint so yeah, the answer is yes so ito. from last question from Kath, uh your classmates sabi niya among all your art mahats i had ano yung pinaka favorite mong gamitin siguro um, yung, ngayon ano po? art material among all your art materials ano yung pinaka favorite mong gamitin um, I think yung ano, yung art philosophy na watercolor ko. Um, mm-hmm. although when I practice dito sa course, I use the Mia Hini. For my other um um painting, I use the art philosophy kasi ang nangyari, um bumili ako ng maraming palette. I think mga apat na palettes, iba-iba. And what I did is bumili ako ng malaking parang palit na ma- na na empty. Tapos, kinolor coordinate ko na lang siya doon. So, maganda kasi siya tingnan. So, yun yung usual ko ginagamit. Kaya favorite ko din siya. Pero, <laughs> as to yung quality, maganda din naman siya. But I think, mas mabilis lang talaga iwet yung Mia Himi kaysa sa mm. yung art philosophy ko. But, um, eh, yun pa din yung favorite ko, yung art philosophy. Kasi nga, Madami, maganda tingnan. But, yun, yun lang yung reason ko. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ayan. So, sige. Maraming salamat sa yung ano. Maraming salamat sa answers and for sharing your journey with us. But, yeah, guys. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Meron pa tayong questions kay Attorney Genedy. So, ayan. So, now, what's your advice? So, syempre, marami sa mga viewers natin tonight, yung just like you, working professionals, iba-iba-iba tayo ng field, we feel stress. Tapos, they also want to try watercolor painting. Pero, 
medyo natatakot sila na maybe they don't have time and enough talent for it. So ano yung masasabi and ma-re-recommend mo sa kanila? Um, I think you just have to go for it. Parang just take, ah, parang go lang. Kasi hindi naman tayo nabubuhay again para magtrabaho lang. We have to do the things that make us happy. We have to try new things para hindi naman very monotonous yung buhay natin. And watercolor, again, for us professionals, it does not need a lot of preparation. Hindi ganun ka haba ng time para lang magawa mo yung hobby mo. So, it is a good hobby if you want to start painting. Kasi I, through my research, I see kasi na yung watch, kailangan mo pa siyang i-reactivate if matagal mm-hmm. kang hindi paint or sa acrylic, you have to parang may marami pang pinaprepare sa canvas. So, I think if they want to paint, they want to pursue art, and parang ganun nga, professional, you, you have um, onti lang yung time mo to prepare or do something. Better yung watercolor. And um, if we just, may, hindi naman kasi talaga like puro work, kailangan din talaga na mag-make time for other things and make time for things that would improve the quality of life that you are living. So, yun, you just have to go for it, buy the things that you want and enroll to sa mga courses na you want to learn. Kahit na matanda na tayo, I mean, even if I studied most of my life, I still enrolled in a course para gawin naman yung feeling ko, hindi ko na-pursue nung bata pa ako. It's never too late. Oh. I agree. I agree. And thank you so much. And ulitin ko lang din yung sinabi mo kanina kasi for those nakaka-join pa lang. So earlier, di ba, sabi mo, walang mahirap as long as um you put your mind and heart into it, kaya naman. Di ba? As long as you believe in yourself. Ah, di ba? Confidence thank- lang ang puhunan. Yes, absolutely. Sabi dito ni Jan V, tama yung advice about sa go for your hobby and it is true that life is more than a job. Na need din natin ng something to make our lives better. Yes, guys. O diba? Kailangan um, you love yourself then. Hindi pwedeng puro job lang. Hindi pwedeng puro stress lang. Go and ano, look for outlet to relax and distress. So guys, eto, si Attorney Janet Lee, na-mention naman niya kanina, she's one of the students in our watercolor painting course. Ayan, in case you don't know. But yes, and before we move forward, meron lang ako mga questions, di ba? You are here because you want to learn about watercolors, correct? Or you are interested about watercolors. You are here because you want to improve faster and feel more confident kagaya ni Attorney Jenny D in just two months or in less than three months, meron na tayong visible big improvements, correct? So now, would you rather do it yourself? Diba, nood ka lang ng YouTube tutorials, you discover everything on your own or mas prefer mo na yung may proven path to success. Meron ng outline, marami nang nag-try, Meron ng mga transformation. So, ano yung pipiliin nyo? Okay? So, sabi dito ni Stephanie, ayan, yes, si Viv nag-heart ng OPA emoji. Sabi ni Janvi, sorry po for not being active sa comments. Napuputol yung connection namin. Oh no, Janvi. But yeah, thank you so much for your support and for joining us. Si Nikashin, ayan, sabi niya, yes, yes. Janelle, yes, okay. So yeah, guys, ano ba yung pipiliin nyo? Do it yourself or would you rather have a proven path to success? Because uh, if you want to make your time doing watercolor more meaningful and more productive, then our watercolor painting course membership is for you. Because we are on a mission to accelerate your growth all while having fun learning together. And yung kagandahan dito, this is going to be a lifetime membership. So you can do everything naman at your own pace. Diba kagaya nung um, technique ni Attorney Janady? 
And we believe that a one-day workshop is not enough. You cannot learn everything ng isang araw lang, di ba? Kailangan may consistency talaga. Kailangan may follow-up. And of course, even just doing it by yourself is not enough. So let me show you, sino ba yung mga naging mentors ni Terni? So here we have Sir John. Yeah, so you can follow him sa Instagram underscore John underscore Lafore. And siya yung nagtuturo sa ating course on how you can paint portraits. Okay, so starting from the basics, um, like mixing skin tones, how to sketch, and how to paint realistic and semi-realistic na portraits. Okay, so again guys, you can follow him sa underscore John underscore Lafore. And shout out, yeah, si Sir Ian, if you are still here. Yeah, so guys, please follow our second mentor, Raven Fax 13. So, Sister Ian, ito siya yung nagtuturo sa atin sa course about the basics. Different materials, different techniques, how to paint florals, how to paint landscapes. Okay? And, ito yung mga bagay na you will have access to. So, basic watercolor foundations, diba? different watercolor techniques, color theory, how to mix colors, diba? para hindi mo na kailangan bumili ng iba't ibang watercolor palette, kaya naman palang ma-achieve, and just limited colors. And you will also learn watercolor portraits, ayan yung basics, realistic and semi-realistic styles, and of course, how to paint florals and landscapes using watercolors. So, sabi dito ni... Hazel, dun tayo sa my proven path to success. Ayan, sabi ni Marise, I prefer taking classes. So, shout out to you. Si Nika, taking classes is actually much preferable. I can say so since I am an art student myself, but you can learn at your own indeed. There's a lot of self-made artists out there. So, guys, eto nga lang. We are not just taking in anyone because we believe the better the fit, the better the results. And we want to work with aspiring watercolor artists who wants to be empowered. You want in, right? Earlier you said, oh, I prefer classes. Oh, mas gusto ko yung merong uh, guidance and mentorship. So here's how the process works. This is for you if you feel stressed, burnt out, anxious, and you want to distress, relax, and improve your mental and emotional well-being through watercolor painting. This is for you if you are a beginner and believe that you are ready to finally learn the basics and proper watercolor techniques to paint florals, landscapes, and portraits that you can proudly share with other people. This is for you if you are mainly a self-taught watercolor artist who's been feeling stuck at your current level and want to improve and finally feel more confident with your pieces. And this is for you if you want to surround yourself with like-minded, passionate artists and share your watercolor journey. So if this sounds like you, guys, eto na, we are inviting you to see if you qualify to join our watercolor painting course and we will only take in serious applicants. So the link is in our pinned comment. So go guys, just click the link and you can now start applying. So basahin ko yung sinabi dito ni Jen B, ah. To my experience, mas okay mag-learn with others in class. Marami kang natututunan from each other at saka may time, discipline and consistency. And also my progress. As someone taking lessons from tutorials, well, okay naman. Ayan, nawala. Mag, mag rely sa tutorials, kaso it's either mafo-frustrate ka pag hindi mo nakuha na to the point that you'll get <laughs> mad at online teacher or magiging super proud kasi sa really to the point na may blind spot ka sa area of improvement. So thank you so much, Jen B, for sharing your story and experience with us. So again, guys, eto na. If you believe na okay, I, I want to learn watercolor painting and I will need help and guidance. So just click the link in our pinned comment. So let me show you what will happen once you click the link. Okay, so you'll be directed to our application form. Eto rin yung sinabi kanina ni Attorney Johnny Dina, sinagutan niya. Diba? So guys, you have to answer these questions kasi dito natin malalaman if you are really serious about this. And dito rin namin may iintindihan. Ano ba yung goal nyo? Why do you want to learn watercolor painting? Ano ba yung mga naging struggle nyo? So that we know how we can help you as well. Okay, so just click start, answer all of the questions. So guys, you have to answer carefully ha? Kasi... Dito natin ibibase kung if you're qualified for the consultation call. Okay? So, answer carefully and honestly. So, now, guys, 
let me leave this here with you. What will it be tomorrow if you start today? Take the leap. Diba? Can you guys imagine yourself? Ano ba yung kaya nyo i after one month? Or ano yung progress and transformation after two months? Maybe you're, you are like attorney Johnny D. Diba? For others, diba? five months or six months or one year. Diba? If you will take the leap. If you will grab this opportunity. So now guys, let me know who's applying. If you guys are applying, please let me know in the comments. Ayan, mag-comment naman kayo na I am applying para I can also check your application. And guys, please don't leave yet because again, we still have other we still have our raffle, okay? So muna kayo umalis. John V, also my communication between mentor and students at nakaklarify yung misunderstanding sa pagtuturo at feedback. Wow, ada ba? So, ayan na guys, ha? hindi na to sa amin ang gagaling. Nanggagaling na to sa mga students namin. So, if you want to experience the same um, transformation or the same results and same experience, what are you waiting for? Go! Sabi ni Butchai, I've already applied po. Wow, ayan. Thank you so much, Butchai. Ayan. Am, I, am I pronouncing your name correctly ba? Ayan. So, let me just check. Tignan, tignan natin. Okay, tignan natin yung application para sure tayo na pumasok. Kasi sayang naman. Ayan. So, who else, guys? Who else? Sino ba yung mga tapos na or still answering the application form? So, I'll give you five minutes, guys, ha, to apply. Sabi ni Stephanie, I'm going to apply for it, hoping to be picked. Ayan. So, go, Stephanie. Answer mo lang yung application form. And then, once you're done, let me know in the comments. Janelle is asking, question po if there's tuition on this course. Um, Janelle, thank you for your question. And I want to be honest, yes, this is a paid course. Yeah. This is this course or this watercolor painting course is paid. But... You will learn everything naman during the consultation call if you have questions about inclusions or, or anything, discuss po natin yan personally. Because, again, we want to understand your situation first. So, muna namin malaman if we can actually help you before we can give you a solution. So, yeah, your first step is to click the link and apply. Oh, sige. So, someone is asking sa ating YouTube. So, let's check. So, questions from YouTube. Mm, actually, I can see it. Wait. Let, let me check. Ano ba yung question? Oh, oh. We have your questions pala from Will Vorn Doctor. Ayan. So, Will Vorn, if you are still here, sabi niya, how much is the basic course? So, again, Will Vorn, Will Vornry, ayan, um, the price is something that we want to discuss with you during the consultation call. Kasi yung importante dito, we want to make sure na we can help you. Okay? Na magiging possible, ma-achieve natin yung mga goals na you set for yourself. Okay? So, um, all you have to do tonight is to click the link and apply. And click mo muna yung application, answer all of the questions, and if you qualify, pwede tayong mag-schedule ng consultation call. Yeah, so Will Von Ree, if you have follow-up questions, let me know in the comments or in the chat. At babasahin natin yan, okay? Oh, so this is from Gretchen. Sabi niya, apply na po para may new classmate kami. So guys, by the way, Gretchen is one of our students. So Christina, hello po, I am only 12 years old and I want to learn, but I can't afford. Okay, so here's the thing, Christina. Um... For students kasi like you, we we require na kailangan alam ng parents mo uh, para naman hindi sila magulat na, na you're trying to apply dito sa course. So, you talk to your parents first and if they say yes, if they can help you and support you, then go. So, or if you feel like, oh, maybe I'm too young for this, why not encourage your mom or your sister to ba, na sila yung mag-apply, they learn, and then you do it together. Kasi actually, marami kaming ganyan sa class. We have moms in our watercolor painting course na kung ano yung natutunan nila, they, with, they do it together. Doon kasama yung mga kids nila. And it's also a fun activity. Diba? Bonding. Oh, si... <laughs> Jandy, sabi niya, kahanap ka na ata na mabibiktim na sa budol. Okay, um, but shy, nag-face-to-face -face sessions din po ba kayo? Okay, so, one thing, I wanna ask, Miss Butchai, why are you asking for, are you looking for face-to-face -face sessions? But to answer, right now po, no. Um, 
we focus po or we're doing our um, classes online via Zoom. Ayan. So, may specific reason po ba why you are asking? Ayan. So, I just want to confirm. Okay, so si Milan, nag-send ng heart emoji. So, Milan, are you done with the application? Done ka na ba? Yeah, so if you're done, and for others na tapos na mag-apply, let us know in the comments so we can check. So let's check and see who is applying or who's done. So for those na tapos na, ha, please comment done para ma-check natin yan. Kasi baka mamaya kaala nyo natapos nyo yung application para nagkaroon pala ng error. So sayang, di ba? Pumalpak lang sa technical. So guys, so for Ms. Butchay, um I just want to clarify lang po, since you mentioned na you applied na, pero hindi ko po kasi nakikita yung name nyo sa application form. Um, gumamit po ba kayo ng other names? Yeah, so just want to confirm. Um, I learned more via face-to-face -face po kasi. Iba kasi pag natatanong mo personally, yun teacher. Um, for Ms. Buchay, um, dito po sa ating class, even though we do it ng online, you can still ask our mentors. Kasi we do it live naman po. And let's say na, okay, hindi ako makaatad ng live. Uh, mayroon akong pupuntahan, pero I have questions. So okay lang, as long as you post your questions, masasagot po yan ng mentors natin kahit wala kayo doon. And then, you can, just, you can just watch the recording or the replay. So, yeah. I, I, I suggest po na you try and then pag-usapan po natin sa consultation call kung ano yung mga uh, bagay na we do in the course. So, go. <laughs> Ayan. So, yeah, guys. Uh, last call. Meron pa bang nagsasagot ng form? So, for Milan, for... Um, Janelle and Stephanie. Ayan. So let me know, guys, if you are applying or if you are done applying. Nika, yeah. Nika Sheen Capistrano, are you still here? Si Maris Abuhan, earlier you said, I prefer taking classes. Um, Hazel, hey, hey, you said you um, choose your proven path to success. So are you applying as well? Let me know. O, oh, diba? Sabi ni John B. True, tsaka active yung mentor sa pag-accommodate sa students. Yes, guys. Let's go and check our what our YouTube channel. Ayan. So, for Will Born Re, are you still here? Ayan. So, I, I hope narinig mo yung sagot ko about the payment. So, if you are still here or if you are um, applying, let me know in the comments. Sabi ni Nika, I'll try to apply. Okay, Nika, sige, I'll wait for you. And then once you're done, let me know so I can check, okay? Ayan. So, Chris, pwede po ba real name ko po ang ilagay? I use my mother account po kasi. But again, Christina, um, I know na you're only 12 years old. So, just apply if pumayag or if your parents are supportive, okay? Ayan. Ayan. And by the way, thank you so much, Trini Janity, for sharing your story, your wonderful journey with us. Sobrang happy po kami to be part of your watercolor journey. And so proud of you as well sa kung ano na yung mga na-achieve nyo, di ba? Sobrang saya. So let's see who else. Teka, mag-refresh muna ako, okay? And guys, again, if you want to join our raffle or our giveaway, please kailangan na share nyo tong live sa timeline nyo and you have to send us a message sa m.me forward slash artillery philippines or artillery field. Yung link po and instructions naka sa comment section natin kanina. So last last call for those na applying. Ayan, meron pa ba? Ayan, so, while we're waiting, let me just prepare for our raffle. So, check na natin sino ba yung mga mag-join or yung mga pwedeng mag-join. So, for those naman na tapos na or yung mga ibang viewers natin dyan, ano ba yung mga takeaways nyo from this live interview? Ano ba yung mga natutunan nyo from attorney Jenny na somehow you feel na magagamit nyo in your, in real life, in your, ano, everyday life? 
Yeah. Oh, sabi ni Kath, yes, thank you, nakaka-inspire. Oh, Christina, starting to answer the questions to apply. Okay. That's good, that's good. Yeah, and so, let's see. So guys, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I am just checking yung mga magjo-join sa raffle. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry guys. If you can hear my dog. Ayan, sorry. It's, it's part of you know, live. So is um Michelle still here? Ayan, so Michelle, I saw your uh, message. Are you also planning to apply? Or, or if not yet, what's holding you back from applying? The same with Miss Hilda. Ayan, Miss Hilda, uh, are you planning to apply din po ba? Let's see. So for those na tapos nang mag-apply, please, oh, ay, Michelle pala is enrolled na. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Michelle, for letting me know. Ayan, okay, okay. Sorry. Na nag-mix na yung names. Okay. Yan, see. Isis, parang nakakatuwang magpabudol sa watercolor class. Yes, Isis, go na. I-message mo lang kami. Um, yeah, I'll message you later. Meron akong um, in invite sa'yo, okay? So, let's just talk later. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Isis, for joining. Who else? Yeah, so I guess we are just waiting for ah yan si Jonel Dana. Um, we're just waiting for Nika ayan to finish. And again, if which shy is still here, I want to ask po since earlier you message you mentioned that you're done applying. So if gumamit po kayo ng different name, let me know. Ayan, Stephanie, oh, also waiting for Stephanie to finish. <laughs> Sabi ni Gretch, talk to me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So what about Hena? And Hena, I saw your message as well. If you are still here, let me know in the comments. Yeah, so same with Riza Nika Singwon. Yeah. Oh, no, different different person. Janelle, ayan. Janelle Parale, I saw your message. Okay. So what about Jackie? Ayan, Jackie, I remember you. Um, Are you also planning to join the course? Ayan. Are you applying? If not yet, then what's holding you back from applying? Baka kasi mamaya, you guys want to try, pero medyo natatakot kayo. May mga hesitations. But then of course, we cannot help you if hindi nyo sasabihin sa amin yung mga things na um, minuwari nyo. So mamaya baka misconceptions lang pala yan, natakot lang pala. But at the end, kayang-kaya naman, di ba? So sayang. So go na guys. If you want, just let us know. You have questions. Sabi ni Stephanie, maybe next time since I have a hectic schedule. Oh no, Stephanie, why naman po? Um, again, if even if you cannot attend the live sessions, you will have complete access to all replay. So sayang. So makakaya naman. Just just apply. And what's good po is if you apply and if you qualify, magkaharin pa tayo ng consultation call. And during the consultation call, we will explain everything you can also ask everything about the course and after the call we will give you enough time to think about it and decide whether you are really interested or if parang buo na yung loob nyo to apply okay so ayun so i highly suggest guys na itry nyo para malaman nyo kung kaya ba or hindi because at the end of the day Diba? Sabi nga nila, you miss all the chances na you didn't take. So, sayang. Baka mamaya mga what ifs na lang yan. Tapos kaya naman pala. Let's 
I guess nakuha ko na lahat na nag-try mag-join sa ating raffle. Um, I just have to check sa mga applications. And so let's read the comments. Si Stephanie, maybe next time. Okay, okay. So si guest Stephanie, pag-isipan mo. <laughs> Ayan, so shout out to Janelle Parale. Wow, dahil na mag-apply. So for Janelle, can you check your email? Make sure to check your email pag wala sa inbox, your spam or promotions folder. And then, make sure to confirm. Okay? So, yeah. Um, what about Nika? Nika Shine or Nika Sheen Capestrano? Earlier you said na you will try to apply. So, yun. Yeah, guys, I think this is it. So, let me just check. Nakailang share pa tayo? So, for my team, can you guys help me and check? Nakailang, total, nakailang shares ba tayo? <laughs> Ayan. Para we can compute magkanya ba yung mapapanalunan. Let me show you the names ng mga share screen. Ayan. Oh, 48 shares. Wow. That's good. Ayan. So guys, at the total of 48 shares and then right now we still have 23. So that's 48 times 23. Okay. Our winner for tonight will win 1,104 pesos worth of what lang po for our raffle. Um, once I call your name, you have to be here. Okay, so bibilang lang po ako next 10 and then after 10, if hindi pa kayo nag... So guys, this is it. Um, let's spin our wheel. Yeah, good luck everyone. Again, it's 1,100. Four pesos worth of options too. Lori Cubello Villarante. Yeah. And so for Miss Lori, are you still here? Yeah. Okay. So wait lang po ako na lumabas sa isa kong screen before I start counting. So now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Oh no, Miss Lori. Yan, medyo nakuli po tayo sa pag, ano, sa pag sagot. So again, okay. Shihila is asking how to join. Ayan, Shihila, so you have to follow yung mechanics kanina na share and then send us a message dun sa link na binigay namin kanina. Okay? So guys, another... Oh, wow. Grabe naman, nakaka-excite naman to. So, our winner is... Oh, wow. Congratulations to Alexis Jacinto. If you are still here, mag-ingay. So, let me start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine. And oh no, sayang naman. Oh, ito. Teka. Let me confirm sa team if pumasok ba. Ano naman dyan? Let me know. Pumasok ba si Alexis? Oh, he made it. Okay, Alexis. Congratulations. Ikaw ang ating 1,104 pesos worth of water colors supply. So make sure to screenshot. Yan, screenshot mo naman yung screen and then send us a message. Okay? Mag reach out lang. Go. Ayan. 
Okay. So, for Alexis, again, congratulations. Please, sa, ay, wala pala dito. Please send us a message kay courses at artillery.ph. Ayan. So, guys, thank you so much for joining. Siyempre, big shout out naman kay Attorney Jenny D. Maraming salamat po for sharing your wonderful story with us. To our students na super supportive, to our mentors, thank you so much. And to everyone who stayed with us until the end. Maraming salamat po and enjoy the rest of the night. See you next time. Bye!